ashy just in case I can't find where the other oh never mind it's there it's okay Tyler finished it for me so it should be how used to it be <laughs> I gotta say thank you Ashley thank you Tyler because it looks absolutely marvelous you guys have got me set up perfectly for today Yay. so now we just have to wait for someone to come and sign in and say that they're here and I can get started on my wacky Wednesday. Yay! Well, hope somebody's out there and listening. I can't tell. Maybe if I move the comment section down a little bit, I'll be able to see it. If somebody's no, that's the wrong page. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Maybe I better not mess with. Hi, Robin. Okay, I have someone. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in to another wacky Wednesday at my sewing room here in Calgary. And I have to tell you, the difference between this week and last week is phenomenal. We are actually uh, getting close to above zero, I believe, because everybody's coming in and telling me how spring-like it is, and I'm glad to see it. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, Rose. I'm so glad. Happy Wednesday to everybody. And just a, a thank you to you for, for tuning in. And, and I'm always supposed to say thanks for, for liking us, loving us, sharing us with the world, and all your wonderful comments and everything. Hi, Dorothy. It is absolutely wonderful that you can join us for our Wacky Wednesday. Hi, Sandy. You know, every time I say hi to Sandy, I think that, you know, uh, I'm talking to myself. But, uh, uh, nope, somebody else is out there with my name. Or we share a beautiful name, I should say. All right, so this is Wacky Wednesday. Um, so a quick shout out to all those wonderful people. Hi, Teresa, that uh, tuned in last week. So that would be our Ann L and Ann S, who's online. Tina B, Sandy A, Rose L, Chris L, Nancy C, Ruth C, uh, Pat W, Esther R, Nicola P, uh, Dorothy T, Shelly M, Val S, who didn't come online. Hi, Carol. But uh, said hi to me in the store. And that's, she said she wanted to know how the chicken soup turned out. And I got to tell you, that chicken was a little tough. Anyways, also thank you to all our YouTube people, Robin, Carol. Um, also, we've got a Shelly S., and some of the other locals who sometimes don't say much, but definitely come into the store and talk. And that's Jean and Maui Jean, Jim, uh, Glenda and Mike, Betty L, Mary Zed, and Carolyn Paul. So thank you ever so much for everybody who does come into the store and tells us how much they do enjoy our My Sewing Room Facebook and YouTube shows. Um, sometimes I'm not as educational and and but I am fun. So, anyways, so I got I got to tell you that I've been invited to a potluck. Yes, so I thought I'd make ourselves a chicken pot pie. So here we go. We got to try a chicken pot pie. So I thought you know what we're gonna make it in a pie crust. Oh, I got to get a pie crust. Boop 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 pie crust. Okay, there's our pie crust. And of course, chicken pot pie, we always need our, our potatoes and our carrots. And of course, that poultry geist that's been driving me crazy. So let's put a little chicken in that. There he is, a little chicken in there. And then let's put a nice lattice crust over his top. There we go. There we go. I think it's ready for the oven now. So we're going to put our chicken pot pie in the oven and we'll check on him later and see if he's all done so chicken pot pie and i'm quite excited if i'm going to do to do uh pot luck and so um before i, I carry on though but i want to welcome everyone because i know the time change here in alberta i'm hoping everybody else caught up with it this weekend anyways because you know it's spring forward so that makes us one hour closer to that wonderful springtime out there and you know i gotta tell you what's the worst thing about eating a clock it's very time consuming 
and that joke was from Barb. All right, so I hope you're surviving time change. I hope you're going to go do something fun like I am, a, a, a potluck dinner. We haven't had those for a while, you know, times have been tough. So making a, making that lovely um, chicken pot pie, yes. And last week I was showing you some really cute uh, mug rugs and I missed one of the cutest ones ever. It's called the Barnyard Pets. And look at that chicken and that cute piggy. And uh, I think that's a sheep, but look at how they finish the edges. And then a cute little duck. So anyways, there's another mug rug pattern from last week that you could use for your chicken pot pie. Or no, we made chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. So anyways, that's for that. So this week I was thinking, okay, so I've got my chicken pot pie in the oven. Well, I got to get it out of the oven. And I'm thinking, oh, it could be really hot. So I went around and found some of the cutest pot holder patterns. And not only that, but, uh, you know, it's always fun. So i got to ask you, why do, what is, what is the worst day for a chicken? It's Friday. Poor chickens on Friday. All right. So speaking of some pot holders, we do have some really cute ones. I love this little chicken one down here with the beak sticking up and the little hand. It is adorable. There's a little, I'm not sure if that's a beaver. <laughs> I think so with the tail. Ladybug and butterfly, of course. So this is one of our um, quick sew patterns. It's Ellie May Design. It's called Helpful Creatures. And we also have another one that Ellie May Design did. And these ones are all um, lovely seashells, stars, fish. Uh, so it's seashells for your kitchen. So these ones we have, these are quick sew patterns. They're $12.99, but they make some really cute pot holders. So what other pot holders did I find? Well, I found one called a Plumera, Plumeria pot holder and it's a really pretty flower so I'm gonna guess that that's a flower that plumeria and it ends up being about nine and a half inches when you're finished and it's $12.99 it's really cute now they say that this one says oh it makes wonderful little gifts here it is in a few different oh that one looks like a a little ladybug doesn't it and flowers so this one's really cute too so that's a really cute pot holder now, Miss Anne did some pot holders, if you remember. She did the pie, please, hot pads. So these are for anyone who has an embroidery unit to make some pies. I thought those were cute pies. And, of course, you can make, like, this looks like a chicken pot pie with the potatoes in it. Or you can make beautiful strawberry pies or fruit pies. So these would make really cute little hot pot mats as well. All right, so those are hot pot mats, and there's one more. It's called the Morning Star. It's really pretty as well. This one looks like one you fold. It's a folded star of David, which uh, um, looks like it requires a little bit of talent. It's a new technique to make a folded six-point star hot pad. With It's got clear instructions for sewing, and it includes an interfacing template to make sewing plum easy, they say, because it's from Plum Easy Patterns. Aren't they funny? Now, they also have a refill template. So if you make more than one, you can make more than one. That's kind of fun. So, so the pattern is $16.99. The refills are $22.99. And if you would like to make some of the most beautiful stars, it doesn't necessarily have to be a star of David, but it's a very pretty star. All right, so now I have a funny story for you. Um, my dear Julie, we work with on Saturday. She, I told her I was going to make a pot holder. I also told her that it was going to be St. Patrick's Day and with green. And she said, oh, I have just the fabric for you. So I made a shamrock pot holder. But the funny thing is, there it is, it's cute as a button, little shamrock pot holder. But if you look really close, each of the shamrocks and the backing fabric is actually pot. It's the pot plant. So uh, <laughs> she, she dared me to make one and show it to you. So here is my pot pot holder, which I thought was very cute and very, very fun for St. Patrick's Day. So 
there's another pot holder for you. Anyways, I think we'll need this later for when we get that uh, chicken pot pie out of the oven. All right, speaking of chickens, so why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Yes. All right. Chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken jokes. Love chickens. I got to tell you, all this week I've been feeling like there's something watching me. Like I've got eyes on me all the time. Anyways, I just can't shake that feeling. And I kind of think that that poultry geist is still with us. Anyways. Oh craziness all right so other things that you can do for uh, holders and pie things is, you know if you're going to be using your microwave I found the funniest little thing I thought it was so cute I'm going to take it out of the bag so I can show it to you close up but it's called a potato sack now most of you know about potato bags where you put them in the oven I have a pattern for that but this is a potato sack it's called hot potato and it's a cute little sack and you make it and you can use it, I guess, for maybe a single serving or a couple of servings of potatoes. And, of course, we have some fun potato fabric, like the one that Ann made her potato uh, pie out of. But there it is. This is from the teacher's pet. It's called Hot Potato. And you just need a half a yard of potato print fabric. You need some a yard of the warm, we call it um, dream cotton here. Uh, and as long as it is 100% cotton, scrim and glue free, it can go in the microwave. So you can make yourself... Um, it's sort of like those microwave bowls, but one for a potato. So you can do a potato sack. Or the other one I found, which was kind of fun, it steams both potatoes and tortillas. Woo! I like tortillas. So this one is this one is baked potato and tortilla steamer by Legacy. And this is fun. They did it in potato fabric and they did it in pepper fabric for the tortillas and then you can just heat them in the microwave and all you need here is main fabric color some muslin batting and some cotton thread all right oh and they really put a little asterisk there and say all fabric muslin batting and thread must be 100 percent cotton because if you don't you might light yourself on fire oh there went miss ann and she just went by i bet you she heard i was talking about her her uh pot holders and she came by anyways those are my lovely pot holders for you those are the little potato sacks and containers that you might uh, want to do some microwaving in all right so now let's see i bet you my my uh, chicken pot pie is ready to come out of the oven i'm going to use my pot pot holder and take it out oh yes it's cooked it looks cooked to me anyways now i'm taking this to um the pot luck tonight so i think i should get a cover for it so keep it warm and i think that would be really cool all right so we have a couple of them here at the store if you want to make a cover for a casserole or a dish that you want to take to a potluck or anything like that or it would make a lovely gift um this is the Atkinson design one called Hot Stuff. And it's got, it's, it's so cute. This one looks like a little flower at the top. And it just need it holds a three-quart casserole or salad bowl. You need one yard or 12 uh, associate, assorted 12 and a half inch strips. Um, a yard of contrast dark. And this one uses Insel Bright, but you could use cotton batting as well. So Insel Bright, of course, is the fabric that's got that silver lining to it. So it helps you keep things from getting too hot. Hi, Miss Anne. Hey, there she goes. There she goes. Anyways, this one could use the Insel Bright or the cotton. I have one other that we have here at the store. And Miss Chelsea made this. Um, this is called the Lori Holt Cookbook hot pad panel and this is a uh, for uh, doing wrapping casseroles in it and keeping them warm from point a to point b maybe when the chicken crosses the road or something anyways it lays out and this one's made out of batting sort of looks like a big 
diaper cover, I think. Cover up my chicken, keep them warm. Okay, so we put our chicken pot pie in the middle. Mm, and we'll wrap up the sides. And then this comes across and ties at the top, which is kind of fun. I don't know why we have so many ties, but we have lots of ties to tie it all up with. So that is a chicken pot pie ready for my pot luck dinner. I think that was kind of fun. Well, it didn't take me long to get that chicken all roasty toasty and ready for a dinner. And there he is all wrapped up, ready to go. I think that looks really sweet. So that one's made by Chelsea. And that is a Lori Holt one called the Hot Pad Towel Panel. And it is $26.99 and all you got to do is put some batting in there. It's This is actually lightweight canvas and it's got instructions in it and everything. Yeah, keeping that chicken as he crosses the road from point A to point B nice and warm. All right, so that's that. Well, and I was thinking, okay, so now I've made a chicken pot pie. I've got pot holders so I can get it out of the oven. I've got something to travel with. I thought, you know, when I come home, I'm going to have a big mess in my kitchen. So I need to do some cleaning up. And I thought, well, well, what better thing to do than to make some tea towels for cleaning up? They make wonderful gifts as well. Um, so, yeah. So, hi, Chris. And hi, hi Loanne. I'm glad you guys could join us. Hi, Tina. Um, so, you guys, what gets wetter the more it dries? Well, a towel, of course. So, I got to show you the cute towels I made. These ones are from the Lori Holt collection, and she's got two sets of different towels. Towel set A and towel set B. So, anyways, that was my chicken voice. So, these, this is the cookbook towel panel number two. So, on this one, you've got one that's got chickens upside down. Well, that's cute. Let's look at those chickens upside down. There's chickens upside down. They're in the green and blue. And then if you look at this one, it is kiss the cook and the stove is upside down. So let's turn that around. There's the stove. That's cute. And then on the other one, we have pink and it has roosters and chickens and strawberries and fun things. And the last one, of course, looks more like you're doing some cooking because it's got your cookbook. It's got... Um, milk and teapots and tea and all sorts of spice grinding or could be a coffee mill. Anyways, that's really cute. That's one of the panels. The panel that I did was called the Cookbook Dish Towel Panel Number One by Lori Holt of Be In Your My Bonnet. And this one, of course, came with four towels as well. And it says how to make your towels. Well, I always like to do something different every time, but I did cut out the towels on the dotted line and I did finish their edges. They suggest a uh, rolled hem with your sewing machine or that you could use a bias tape. She also had some labels so you could put on like um, days of the week, but I thought that was fun. So of course, I uh, tried out a uh, rolled hem foot for Bernina and tried that uh, here at the store. I don't have one at home, but I tried it out at the store. I also tried out some different decorative stitches. So the first thing I did was to cut, okay, this cute one right here with the little chickens in the window. There's a little rooster. And this one I just did, I just cut it, flipped it. Uh, ironed it down and did a decorative stitch and of course after having done it all in white I thought well gee wouldn't it have been fun if you'd done it in color but anyways that's one of them the second one I did I actually just did a straight stitch I thought well that's a straight stitch that looks kind of sweet it's nice it's pretty and then I did one with a zigzag and this one's my favorite it's got the little roosters and the hen and the baby chick on it and this one's just just turned and zigzagged. So I didn't do a rolled ham. I just did a zigzag all the way around the side. That worked out really nice. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to be so smart. 
This one I did a rolled hem, but I did it with a really pretty decorative stitch as well. And the white stitch showed up much better here, but I think on this one, I think teal or the navy blue would have been pretty so you could see the decorative stitches. So I got excited and made some, some lovely tea towels. It was so much fun. Um, my husband can always tell when I'm having fun because I'm laughing all the time when I'm sewing. Anyway, so that was fun. Now, you guys, what do you call a towel used by a bunny? Well, of course, it's a hair dryer. Yes, a hair dryer. <laughs> These jokes are getting bad, aren't they? All right, so those are all the wonderful things that I made this week. Just kind of fun chicken type of things. Um, but I got to tell you, there's a couple of things. One, we have some classes coming up. And coming up in April, we have the Brother Embroidery class. So if you have bought your machine from us in the last little while, or you want a refresher if you've bought it from before, please join us for our Brother Embroidery class. It is from 10 to 4 on Wednesday, April 5th. It's free to new owners. There is a kit fee and it's $25 plus tax because they provide for you your workbook, your binder, all of the things that you're going to use for that class. So that's kind of fun. So if you have a brother machine out there that you bought from us, let's come and do some embroidery. Leah teaching that one. Now, if you missed it before but want to do it for sure, we have Quilting First Class rolling around again. So this starts on Thursday, April 6th. It goes from 10 to 1, and it's $99 plus tax. So that's the first class. Then there's three more after that, so a total of four classes for that. Um, it is a great way to get started. It's here in person. You get lots of help and support. And again, Leah teaches that one. Oh, she's a busy one in April. I've got to tell you, she's super, super busy in April because she's got another one coming up in April too. This is for people who want to learn, oh, as I rip it off the wall, edge to edge quilting. So this one, I'll show it under the big screen here is called edge to edge quilting class it goes april 21st from 10 a.m to 4 p.m you can either do it virtually at home or you can join us in store and it's 75 dollars plus tax and you're going to be using amelia scott design and i think i showed you one the other day which she had done it's an all over pattern you you hoop your quilt you do part of it you move your quilt and hoop it again and do the next part so edge to edge quilting and that's all done in your machine so that's kind of a fun class as well so don't forget that one wow Bob, because, because. So we got to keep Leah busy, busy, busy. So join up all of her April classes. Um, now, this Friday, of course, is going to be St. Patrick's Day. And our little Chelsea is away. So I've heard that there's a special guest coming in for Friday. So that would make it a Freaky Friday. So yes, we have Freaky Friday this Friday. Uh, being March uh, 17th, St. Patrick's Day, I heard it was a wee leprechaun who's going to be joining us on March 17th. So I do hope that you can join us on that day. Anyways, um, so that's Freaky Friday. I'm not sure what's happening tomorrow. I imagine Leah or Barb has something wonderful to happen on Facebook. Um, but Friday will be a special Freaky Friday. Miss Chelsea away, so that's great anyways everybody i sure hope you had a good time today learning all about pot holders and casserole carriers and tea towels and making chicken pot pie for pot lux anyways i do hope you enjoyed it um enjoy the beautiful weather we've got going on out there right now too you could swear it is spring and i'm sure feels like spring um anyways do join me uh next wacky wednesday yes because it's going to be spring and there'll be something fun happening bye ashley thanks so much for your help today getting set up for the chicken pot pie thank you bye.
Okay, bye-bye. Anyway, so that is everything. We've got our chicken pot pie, and hopefully the chicken this week will be a little more tender than the chicken soup. Hi, Jay, and uh, thanks, you guys, for all joining in and, and talking chicken pot pie with me. Anyways, have a good rest of the week. Uh, I might catch you Friday. Might not. Anyways, take care. Mm-hmm.